Well, um, can I just ask you a little bit more about what Fadden Forum is or isn't? Mm -hmm. um, it's not a company, no. not a trust, no. it's not a registered, uh, well, it doesn't have an ABN number. No. Um, does it have a secretary? No. Letterhead? Did once, but we never used it, so no. Right. Uh, As a Gmail account? Stationary? No. Right. Uh, d does it uh, does it hold uh, functions at which people can attend? It does. Holds many functions during the year. So how, how if I can just sorry yeah. to interrupt, sir. If no. I can go back in terms of you asked if there's any stationery, mm. if I take the broadest definition, there's a membership form right. that people would fill in to be a member. Uh, they would be given a receipt, which is a Liberal National Party receipt because the funds are actually going to the Liberal National Party. Uh, it, now it has a. a symbol, so if, if there's an event, there'd be a name tag with a little symbol on it. There would be an email header. Um, you mentioned, I think, a membership application, was yes, that sir. how you described it? Yes. Does that make it plain that the um, membership is directed towards fundraising for the LNP? Yes, it does. Um, and, and who is such a membership application submitted to? Anyone who wishes to join and become a donor to the, the Liberal National Party. All right. That tells us who can apply. Yes. I was asking you to whom is any such application submitted? Who gets the who gets the membership application and deals with it? Oh, who, who processes the payment? Well, the, the application form, firstly. Yes. It would come through. We'll have a bookkeeper comes in once a fortnight uh, and processes uh, the funds. To come into your office? Uh, the bookkeeper would generally come into to my office uh, and do a, a whole range of bits and bobs, one of them which is to actually process any reimbursements from the party. Is, is there any other place at which membership applications would in the ordinary course be submitted to? There's a PO box that if they were posted in, they'd be posted to a PO box. And if they were faxed through, there'd be a fax stream that would go through to a Gmail account. Okay. Well, uh, you mentioned the membership application. Is there a fee attaching to the membership application? Uh, there is. That's the basis by which we raise funds for the party. So the funds raised are the membership fees? Yes. Unless someone was sponsoring an event. And, and does the, the bookkeeper that you mentioned come to your electorate office? Fortnightly? Uh, generally, yes. Um, for duties that include accounting for this kind of money? For accounting for any campaign expenditure that we may have spent in that fortnight. Well, we're not talking about expenditure at the moment. We're talking about money raised by way of membership application so fees. So any invoicing or receipting that the bookkeeper would do. Right. Uh, amongst other things, was there other... Uh, other uh, accounting tasks for a bookkeeper to do apart from keeping track of this Fadden Forum membership fees? She would look at any campaign expenditure we did uh, to ensure that's being properly rationalised in terms of what we've got. Uh, and then I would, because generally if there was a campaign expenditure, I would pay for it and then I'd seek reimbursement from the party for it. Well, well perhaps it's slight, slightly cross purposes. You, as a federal member, weren't in election mode in uh, January, February, March of 2016, were you? Uh, we're always in election mode, sir. Or well, campaigning? Always. Mm. If I go back to that analogy, it may be flippant, but it's actually a good one, that you don't fatten the pig on market day. Mm. If you turn up to an election in three years and seek to be re-elected, you won't be. You need to demonstrate your value to your constituency all the time. Mm. Um, well, if there's a membership application, does it follow also that there's some record of membership? Yes, there will be. Who maintains that? Uh, it will be in a, a database we have. Uh, who's we? Oh, well, I have. I can see it. My bookie can see it. It's maintained in your office? Well, it's, uh, it's online. It's not a, a, a web-based uh, database. Well, uh, are you the person who takes responsibility for its maintenance? Generally, yes. Um, and does the name Fadden Forum indicate 
that it relates to the raising of funds within your electorate? Uh, it's a name. We've, re we've, we've renamed it the forum now, taking Fadden out of it, uh, because we do so much more fundraising outside of the electorate. Uh, can I just ask you what uh, fee attaches to a membership application? Generally $1,000 a month plus GST, but it can vary. It can vary upwards? Um, well, uh, you mentioned the bookkeeper comes in to um, process money, applications. Uh, where does the money go to? Uh, into the Liberal National Party's banking system. Does Is there a Fadden Forum bank account? If, if I can explain how the party runs its banking system, that may help, sir. There's one bank account for the entire Liberal National Party in Queensland. Uh, the, the bank allows that account to be segmented. That's the term the bank uses. So the, the forum has a segment of that. So if you look at it, the Liberal National Party has one account and multiple segments for each state seat and each federal seat. Is one of those segments entitled with the name Fadden Forum? Do you know? I don't know, but it's known as the, 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 the Fadden Forum segment account. There's some means of distinguishing it from other segments? Absolutely. They all the have account. their individual numbers and are all recorded individually within the whole, and then it's all overseen and controlled by the Treasurer of the party. All right. You told us, I think, that uh, even though you may be uh, integral to the raising of Fadden Forum money, that you don't have the authority to spend it? I can't spend a cent. And even if I do spend a cent using my own credit card and I'd seek reimbursement, it's up to the Treasurer of the party whether that's done. Now, it normally is, because we justify expenditure, but at times it is not. Um, the, the forum holds uh, regular functions, am I right? Yes, and they all have to be organised, don't they? Yes, they do. Are they organised from within your electorate office? Uh, I, I do a lot of it uh, and then get support as needed. Is that uh, logistical and organisational type activity something that either of Kristen Bolton or Felicity Stevenson would have had any involvement with in the course of their employ? Uh, no. No, they may have done some involvement in the early years of the Fadden Forum, but I can't recall that. Would they, as electorate employees, attend any functions held by this Fadden Forum? No. Would they receive any membership applications? No. Process any money, or is that confined to the bookkeeper? No, that's the bookkeeper's job. Would it be right to say then that the means of their learning about the operation of this was not so much by personal involvement with it, but hearing about it in the corridor, so to speak, in your office? By osmosis, if you will, sir. Or around the water cooler, mm -hmm. that kind of thing? Yes. Um, did you suggest an amount to the person that you need to seek authority from to spend money on their campaigns? Absolutely. I had to call the State Director and explain what I wanted to do. The State Director then said I had to speak to the, the Federal, the FDC, Federal Divisional Council, the Chairman of the, of the FDC, and seek his permission, which I did and explained it again. And then the head of the FDC had to put in writing to the State Director uh, what the FDC Chairman was happy with. Um, is it a he or a she? They're, they're both he, sir. Okay. Did he go along with your suggested uh, proposal? He did. Both in terms of agreeing to pay money and, and the amount thereof? Yes. Um, was the amount that you sought 25000 in each case? Uh, yes, until the end when I had to go and do the process again for the last five. Hmm. In Kristen Bolton's case, is it correct that she actually asked you for uh, another 5000 That's correct. Because she was short and the campaign was about to close, she needed to do a mail-out? That's correct. Do you recall that? Yes, I do. And uh, did you have to go through the same process in relation to that extra 5000 Yes, I did. Go back to the head of the FDC 
Yes, and seek it again and speak to the State Director, and the FTC had to write again to the State Director and seek permission. Does all that take long? Uh, yes, it can take many days. Did it in this case, do you yes. know? Well, uh, I'm pretty sure the request for that last one was sent on the 3rd of March and was paid on the 8th of March. Right. Well, the first payment to Kristen Bolton, for example, can I suggest, was made on the 3rd of February. Mm -hmm. So that uh, if your uh, discussion was held uh, on the 28th or 29th, uh, was there around, uh, such communications as were needed to get the approval between the 28th or 29th of January and payment day was the 3rd of February. If I can recall, I probably would have made the call to the State Director that day, who then said, no, speak to the FTC Chair, which I would have done that day, uh, and then we would have arranged an, an email approval, and then wait for the State Director's approval or otherwise. Um, did you, uh, speaking about Kristen Bolton, did you tell her when, when you had approval that this was a goer? I can't recall. She would by then have left your employment. Yes, she correct? would. Correct. I'm, I'm working on her leaving in my employment, as in going on leave, on the 1st of February, subsequent to us checking the leave records. Yeah. Uh, I can't recall. Um, well, uh, on the subject of funding through uh, Fadden Forum, as you said, you told her and Felicity Stevenson. Yes. What was the next conversation that you had with either of them after the meeting on the 28th or 29th of January concerning this funding arrangement? I didn't speak to them at all during the campaign, so I, like, during the whole campaign. Uh, so whatever conversations we had before they left would have been the last ones. Until such time, I think KB called asking if I could provide some more dollars and cents to her. Right. Was there any similar communication with Felicity Stevenson? I would have told her that would provide another $5,000, probably in the interests of equity more than anything else. She wasn't like, in Kristen Bolton's case, needing and seeking extra money? I didn't think so, but I can't recall that. At any rate, did you take it on yourself to initiate uh, another $5,000 payment to her because you were doing the same for Ms Bolton? It's a bit like buying a toy for one child and not the other one, sir, can I say. That was your thought process, was it? These, they'd worked me for nine years. This is a long time in a small office through multiple election campaigns in some pretty difficult areas. Mm. At any rate, just to confirm, in terms of discussions, you've, we've spoken now a few times about the meeting on the 28th or 29th, and you told them what was proposed. Um, uh, do I understand you correctly that save for a discussion with Kristen Bolton when she asked you for more money, that there weren't any more discussions about funding during the campaign? No, I don't believe there were. The... Um, <coughs> You've told us how the third payment came about, yep. being the $5,000 in each case, mm. but the first and second payments were separated by a few days. Mm -hmm. uh, why, why was the money not paid in one hit? Is there any reason that... I don't know. I don't control that. So once the approval from the State Director, uh, he then issues instructions to the finance team within LMP headquarters and they, they pay all bills, all expenditure. So the timing and the amounts, split as they were, was not something which was part of your proposal? No. Somebody no. else? Yes, I had no control over A, approval, or B, any payment of funds. Okay. And somebody else decided then that it would be paid in the amounts that it was at the times that it was? I can only assume, sir, that was the case. Yeah. Okay. At any rate, you didn't play a part in the timing or no. separation of amounts? No. Um, now, after the election, um, you would know, I think, that K 
candidates have to complete a disclosure return, and the two, can uh, the two candidates, one now successful and one unsuccessful, would have had to do so after the election was completed? Yes, noting I've never filled one in. Right. Were you aware that um, those two candidates had to do so under the um, Local Government Electoral Act? Yes. Did you have any um, conversation after the election, which was m March, with Kristen Bolton about uh, how she should complete her disclosure return in relation to the money that she'd been given? Yes, she asked a range of questions. Uh, when? If you can't give us a date, can you tell us, can you narrow it down? I can give you an exact date if I can refer to an SMS stream. By all means.